Pittsburgh is sending shockwaves all across the country and impacting the Jewish community right here in Southwest Virginia. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell is live from Beth Israel Synagogue in Roanoke. So Jessica, how are people here reacting? They're heartbroken, Lindsay. Pittsburgh may be hundreds of miles away, but this tragedy hits close to home for members of the congregation here. They were inside this sanctuary behind me Saturday morning during a prayer service when they heard about the shooting and the service took an immediate turn. We switched in our, our services to a part of our prayer book that deals with prayers in times of tragedy. Strengthen me against evil people. Protect me from those who are violent, who in their hearts plot evil. Rabbi Jama Purser is leaning on her faith while addressing her congregation's fears after the deadly shooting rampage at a Pittsburgh synagogue. My immediate thoughts were, um, are we safe? Anti-Semitism is on the rise across the country, something the local Jewish community is all too familiar with. These anti-Semitic flyers found across Roanoke College's campus earlier this month were also posted at the two synagogues in Roanoke. We think most people are uh, good and would like to see this type of violence end. In the meantime, they're reevaluating their security. God forbid that should happen in our own synagogues, but in this day and age, we have to be prepared and we have to be ready. But when it comes to security, places of worship present unique concerns. To be welcoming, but also be uh, somewhat observant and uh, on guard. That's why police are working closely with religious leaders to make sure people feel safe. The odds of this happening is really rare. However, we don't bury our head in the sand anymore. Out of tragedy, signs of hope. So this says, um, we love you. Messages of support from strangers written in chalk on the sidewalk in front of Beth Israel. How do you move forward? How do you still have that faith? We, we have faith in God, we have faith in each other, and we have faith in our broader community. To show solidarity and support for the Pittsburgh community, members of the congregation here are teaming up with Temple Emmanuel, the other synagogue here in Roanoke, to hold a prayer service tomorrow night. You'll find information about that on our website, WSLS.com. Live in Roanoke, I'm Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.